hi you're welcome back to my channel today i am super excited because i'll be showing you some secrets of most top designers before we do that i really want to appreciate every single person who have subscribed to this channel i do not take it for granted i appreciate it from my heart and i pray god's blessing on you and for those who haven't subscribed we appreciate that you stopped by but please do consider subscribing and turn on the notification button so you won't miss our uploaded videos okay so now I'll be showing you how to draft and sew a corset but i'll be using a different method we are not using brow cup today so i'll be using a different method now there's some dresses that i come across and i'll be wondering there's not that manipulation no corset no posture how come it fits like a glove so i came across this tip just recently and i'm here to share it with my tribe okay so this is the basic bodies this is my basic bodies in case you do not know how to draft this, I have a video on my channel on how to draft a basic bodies block. So you can quickly watch that so you will know what we'll be doing here. So this is my basic bodies now, and this is my nipple to nipple line, my bust point, my under bust, my half length, and, and half length here that will be running in between my boobs. So with this now, I will need to create my bra cup. So to do that, I'll confirm the distance between my bust point and the under bust. So I have about 338 here. So with that, I will need to create my bra cup. I'll form a circle using 338. I'll mark it all around the bust point. Okay, so this is my cup now. And because I don't want it to show my cleavage, I'll be going up with about one and a half inches from my bust point. I'll mark one and a half inches. And from there, I'll I'll blend it to I'll blend it to meet the cup. Like so. And from that point, I will need to use my pattern master and cuff it to meet my my armhole i'll call this to meet my armhole okay so that's it so this is my cup now and i'll be working with this okay so now at this point if i want to make a three-part corset it will be easy to contour the bra cup but i don't want to do that so at this point i will need to bring in cotton this is a cotton wool okay so i'll copy it you bring it such that it will be enough to form a cup and i'll be arranging it within the shape of the cup that we've already formed okay so we have our cotton wool all fixed within the the bra cup so the next thing we we'll have to do is to bring your cello tape all right and then you place it all the way all the way from the top okay to so the under bust Okay, so there it is. I had to do this off the camera at some point because I had to take my time to use the cello tape to just cover the cotton wool, right? So the best you do is to cover the cotton wool with the cello tape and make sure that there's no space. Most fashion designers, when they don't want to use that manipulation or corset or even a posture, at this point, having done this, they will bring their fabric and place it all across this, all right, and pin it, and pin it such that this becomes like the cup, so that when the person wears it, it fits like a glove, and then you will look at it, there's no ma that manipulation of any sort. Okay, so you bring your fabric and cover it all over the basic bodies, and 
you will trim it out. Now the basic bodies, if you must do that, must have some seaming allowance so that when you're sewing the fabric, of course, there must have been seaming allowance for you to, to sew the two sides. Okay, so that's what they do at this point. So because we are not doing that, I want to use this for my cup. That's why I'll be cutting this all around, following the, following the cup, all right, the region that we marked. Following that mark, all right, the area we traced out, that's what you'll be cutting out. Okay, so this is our cup now. All right. The next thing we'll have to do at this point is to remove the cotton wool. Okay, so this is our cup. All right. And I will have to use my marker to mark to mark the center. When you're done getting the cup, you will need to remove the excesses, whatever excess of the cellotape that you have on your basic bodies. So, here, so the next thing I will have to know, this is my midpoint, so you can notch that. You can notch that. And then I'll have to divide it. I want to make a three parts corset, all right? So I will have to divide it. Now, you can do it whatever shape you want. If you want it to run all the way vertically or horizontally. But I like to try that three parts. So here, I'll just shape it. Okay, so when you're done with that, you will need to cut that out. Okay. When you're cutting them on fabric, ensure that you, you will add half inch all around. This is the same thing as using your ready-made bra cup to do this, but because I don't want to waste my cup, that's why I had to go through this exercise. At the same time, it can help you if you want to do some dresses, some evening dresses without that manipulation. So there it is. We have our cup. So at this point, we'll need to cuff out, to cut out the corset. Okay. Remember, I had already shaped it out the way I wanted it. So I'll just need to bring my scissors and I'm cutting this. So bringing in my back bodies at this point, I will place the front on the back bodies like so and mark out where I've cut out, okay? So it will align with the, it will correspond with that of the back bodies and I'll be doing the shaping for the back later. So we are cutting out our cup now. So there we have our middle front and our side front. On my back bodies, I'll be using my cuff to connect it from the point that the, the front body stops and I'll connect it. You can shape it any how you want it, all right? So that's how I'll shape my then you cut it out. So we have our center back and our side back. So remember when you're cutting it on fabric, all right, you will need to add your seaming allowance. For these back bodies, I didn't add any seam allowance, so I like to add half inch all round, okay, including the cup region, half inch all round, so that will have, or you can use three quarter if you want to do boning, and of course you need boning to give it structure, 
same with the back bodies okay so you add your seaming allowances and that will be that same thing with the cup our america wonder cup all right so we have it there okay so you'll be adding half inch all around okay so i've gone ahead to cut the patterns on the fabric i've added all the semi allowances that i'll be needing mainly i'm adding like half inch all around this is the center front and these are the cup pieces this cup one cup two and cup three and i have half inch all around each of them so this is the second this is the side front and here we have the side back the middle back and the side back okay so that'll be it. so we'll take it to the machine and we'll start sewing okay so we'll start sewing now this is the middle front all right so i added some inches here in the midpoint that will run through my boobs so i'll have to iron to sew those ones out first i added half an inch so i'm sewing that out now <laughs> 